Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. After we reviewed a few services that allow you to switch from Google's, it's time to move on to something a bit more complex but more secure as well, hosting your own services. To do so, there is something fantastic that can replicate most of what Google offers, Nextcloud. It's not only a file storage solution, but it can also handle email, photos, music, calendar, an online office suite, and a lot more, since it has a giant gallery of apps that you can add to your own instance. Let's see the easiest way to start using your own Nextcloud instance. This video is sponsored by Linode. Linode lets you set up your own server to host a website, set up a VPN, create a Nextcloud instance, host a game server, and even more. Linode offers Linux-based configurations. If it runs on Linux, it runs on Linode. They have 24-7 support by phone or support ticket, and pricing starts at $5 and is capped, so you won't get any hidden fees or surprise bills. Sign up with the link in the description below to get a $20 credit to set up your own Linux server using the code LINUXEXP19. Setting up the server. There are plenty of ways you can go about doing that. You could use an older computer, a Raspberry Pi, or any machine on your house, and turn it into a server by installing the server version of your distro of choice. If you don't want to mess with that, or you don't want to configure too many things, you can also turn yourself to cloud-hosted server providers, which is exactly what I'll do. There are plenty around, some geared towards having more storage space, some providing powerful GPUs for distributed calculations, and some oriented towards CPU power. Here, I'll be creating an entry-level server with Linode and I bet you didn't see that one coming. Most providers will allow you to pick between pre-selected distros to install, or will let you choose a custom one to put on the server. Now, for servers, Debian-based distros are often the most robust, as are everything based on Red Hat. But here, Ubuntu has a distinct advantage over most other available options. You can install Nextcloud with just one command line thanks to Snap. I know some of you aren't fans of this technology, but it's honestly the easiest option here. I'll be going with Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, which should be stable and perform perfectly well. Here I'll pick a small Linode, called a Nanode, since I don't plan on using my server for file storage, but if you're planning on replacing Google Photos or Google Drive with Nextcloud, you should get something with a bigger hard drive. Most providers also allow you to add storage to your existing server afterwards, so no worries. Creating a user. Once your server is up and running and your distro has booted, you can access its console to install whatever you need. That's where we'll be installing Nextcloud through Snap. But to begin, we'll need to create a user that is not the super user called root, so we'll log in as root to do that. Enter root as the login and the root password you selected when you created the server. If you installed Ubuntu on your own server, you probably already created a user during the distro's installation, so skip that step. We'll just type add user, followed by a space, and the name of the user we want to create. We'll have to answer a few questions, such as the user's full name and its password. The rest is not very important here, you can fill it if you like. Our user does not have the rights to run super user commands though, which we'll need to install anything. So we'll start by adding our new user to the sudoers group. Let's type user mod, space, dash a, g sudo, followed by a space, then the name of the user. And we're done! Now we just type logout to quit being root and log in as our new user just by tapping its username and then its password. Installing Nextcloud. Using snap, it's only one command line. sudo snap install nextcloud. Once the command has completed its task, we'll need to access our Nextcloud instance. Simply get the IP address of your server. To do so, either look in your server manager if you're using a cloud provider like I am with Linode, or type ifconfig your server's IP address is the first series of numbers in the first line. Copy and paste that in a browser's window to access your Nextcloud instance. You'll be asked to create an admin account, so just the username and password you'll want to use to manage your Nextcloud instance, and you're in. Now, this method is pretty easy, but it has one drawback. It will install using its own HTTP and MySQL server, so if you want to use the same machine for something else on top of Nextcloud, you'll run two servers at the same time, which is not that efficient, but for our simple purposes here, it's not an issue. And that's it! Now you have a Nextcloud instance up and running. You can explore its various settings, the apps you can install on it, all from the gear menu in the top right corner. There are plenty of tutorials online on how to set up Nextcloud, install apps, configure it as you wish, so I won't dally on this specific issue. I highly recommend you register a domain name though and install an SSL certificate, so your server uses HTTPS instead of HTTP, it will be a lot more secure. 
If you guys are interested, I'll take a deeper look at how to configure everything and the various apps you can install. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a tutorial about that from me. If you like this first step into the next cloud world, don't hesitate to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!